Python 3.7 support, improved data science and web development, version control features, and additions to remote and database development. Let's take a look at what's new in PyCharm 2018.1. PyCharm has always supported new Python features during beta releases, and Python 3.7 is no different. For example, PyCharm supports postponed evaluation of type annotations. In Python 3.6, the type had to be defined before being used. Python 3.7 supports postponed evaluations of annotations. When annotations is imported from Dunder Future, the annotation isn't evaluated until after the file is parsed. Data classes have attracted interest and PyCharm 2018.1 supports them. Add a decorator, add fields, and let PyCharm warn you if you pass in the wrong data type for a field. We've made other improvements for all Python versions. Testing productivity is important, and 2018.1 makes it easy with a gutter icon to easily run or debug a single test. PyCharm Professional's scientific mode was well received, and 2018.1 adds exciting new features. Want to break your Python files into separate units which can be executed separately? 2018.1 now provides code cells. Use the special marker and PyCharm provides a run icon which executes just that block. Making scientific projects is now easier in PyCharm Professional with the scientific project type. These projects are created with a new Conda environment by default and automatically create a data directory and a main.py file. PyCharm Professional's web development features received several big improvements in 2018.1. PyCharm Professional now comes with support for the Flask CLI, the command line interface. New Flask projects now generate a run configuration tailored for Flask CLI. You can also create run configurations for registered Flask CLI commands. PyCharm Professional also includes all the improvements from WebStorm 2018.1. One such example, support for TypeScript 2.7. Doing version control operations in the IDE is a big productivity improvement. 2018.1 adds several features that tackle hard VCS problems. Here's a long-standing feature request, partial commits. Let's say you have changes in one part of a file that you want to commit, but not the other changes in the same file. PyCharm makes it easy now to include or exclude portions of a changed file. Rebasing is a tricky operation in version control. To ease rebasing in the IDE, new rebasing commands are available in the Git branches pop-up. Support for remote interpreters has long been a key feature of PyCharm Professional, and 2018.1 has two improvements on this. If you use remote interpreters over SSH, you'll appreciate the easier configuration in 2018.1. The UI is reorganized to match our previous work on local interpreters. Also, PyCharm will connect to your box in a few easy steps, and PyCharm configures both file transfer and interpreter settings for you. Docker Compose support is now improved. 2018.1 now supports the newer file formats, is much faster, and can follow symbolic links to configuration files. PyCharm Professional includes the 2018.1 release of DataGrip, our IDE for SQL development. This release has several improvements. For example, 2018.1 makes it easy to use find class to find tables of connected databases. PyCharm 2018.1 brings numerous improvements and fixes in Python support, data science, web development, remote interpreters, database development, and the IDE platform itself. We hope you enjoy this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.